We begin Monday's press review in South Africa with Mail and Guardian in this story. Reading is a right of lockdown lessons. How the disastrous effect the pandemic is having on schooling will be felt for generations to come. In Zimbabwe, the Herald write, Heroes Eka Burial for Matiza, Zomondi, and corruption rife at hospital mortuaries. Daily News says, Wanzora sports national dialogue as he moves to engage ED, other key stakeholders. In Kenya, the standard right, Raila chances at presidency. State House Quest, ODM has advertised for candidate to fly its presidential flag in next year's school. If Raila chooses to run and is voted in by delegate, he will be calling for a seat that has been elusive since 1997. Daily Nation says, Ruto defends Uhuru over Raila attacks. In a fresh twist, the DP who has lately been attacking President Kenyatta aggressively defended the head of state, outlining the Jubilee administration's achievement since taking power in 2018. Ghanaian time is a story. Rawlings begins journey home. Final funeral rites commence. Daily graphic says, Ghana mourns. Nation pays last respect to Rawlings. Business 24 writes, COVID-19, policy makers face uncertainties amid second wave. In Nigeria, the Guardian is a story, while herbal medicine not certified to contain COVID-19, NAVDA insists on clinical trials of products. The Punch writes, Ikanga Fulani crisis, town presents evidence, alleges headers, Collected 50 million Naira ransoms, raped 15 women. This day says, most dead trigger red alert. Prepare to ward off renegade headsmen. Daily Sunrise. As Southwest boils over headsmen's quit order. OPC, IPOP, mass up, reply, mighty Allah. Finally, we end in Uganda with Daily Monitor is this story. Age limit, half of year's team, loose pool. That's end it for today. Always put on your face cover. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.